Make today iconic. What is up, guys? It's Upcom Sports here with the Charlotte Hornets Super Realistic Reload Part 2 of this series. Here are the objectives for the Hornets in this one. If you guys have not seen Part 1, make sure to click the link in the description. It'll take you right to the playlist. But here in the draft lottery, I don't even know if we have our pick. I mean, we probably do because I haven't made any trades. And we do, so it will be at number 10. With the 10th overall pick in the draft, I am going to select Nico Mannion out of Arizona. 6'4 point guard. Point guard slash shooting guard. He can kind of run both. He's kind of like a Dame Lillard, CJ McCollum type player. So he could be our franchise point guard. So here I'm going to be making the first trade of this series. And it's pretty much just to clear cap space. Shabazz we signed two years ago, I believe, or one year ago to be our starting point guard. But we have a little bit of cap space. We just need to clear a little bit more and we can sign a free agent. So I am going to send him to Detroit. So as you guys can see, I was able to sign Mike Conley. He is on the older side, but he's going to be a nice veteran point guard that can teach Nico Mannion how to play the point. And he's really going to be solid for us. If we can make a playoff push, then that would be nice. I gave him a front-loaded contract, so it's going to start to decrease. And he's going to start to regress. So, I mean, we had the cap space. Why not sign a veteran point guard to this team? Help out the young guys to progress a little bit and help us compete in the playoffs if we make it. So we are going to run the same system and the same coach. So pretty surprising right here. Mike Conley is actually going to be an all-star and first time ever in his career. Hard to believe, but great signing right now. And at the trade deadline, checking out how we're doing. Mike Conley has helped us out a little bit. We are under 500, but that makes sense. Chemistry issues, barely getting to know the team. So we'll hopefully get into the playoffs. In this season, Stephen Curry is going to win another MVP on the Warriors. RJ Hampton, Rookie of the Year. I wanted to take him with our 10th pick, but he was selected like 5th, and I didn't have the assets to trade up, so we didn't have to settle for Nico, but hopefully he's going to be just as good, if not better, and he was on the all-rookie second team, coming off the bench, uh, not the best season off the bench, did not shoot, actually he did shoot very efficiently, but just not putting up great numbers, that's fine, he's a rookie, so he'll be learning from Mike Conley, great mentor to have, he can play defense, Great passer, can score the ball. Just an all-around good point guard, Mike Conley. Surprisingly enough, one-time All-Star. That was this season, but Miles Bridges led us in scoring. Mike Conley actually got hurt in the last week of the season. So we did make the playoffs. We're not going to have Mike Conley. Nico's going to have to step up and start for us. Rookie point guard, don't know how that's going to go. We were top five in scoring, though. So as you guys can see here, for these playoffs, this is going to be the rotation. Nico is going to start. Don't know how that's going to go at all. He was coming off the bench this whole time. Devontae Graham, though, very experienced player at this point. So we are playing the Bulls in this series, and we've yet to win a playoff series. So this would be huge if we can pull off the upset, but we are down 2-0. Down 3-0. Are we going to get swept here? And we do get swept. Mike Conley having a big impact, but Vernon Carey led us in scoring. Nico, though, was not good at all. He, oh my goodness, he shot absolutely terribly. He shot 0 for 7 in that game as well. They had Zion. I mean, this is a very good team, so. So it looks like the Sixers and the Timberwolves are going to be in the finals. Kevin Durant on the Sixers, of course, and John Morant on the Timberwolves. They got lucky in the lottery. But game seven and KD wins another ring. So in the draft lottery, we obviously don't have a lottery pick because we made the playoffs, but we are gonna have a pick at number 17. With the 17th overall pick, we're gonna select Dallin Coleman, an athletic shooting guard out of Florida, 6'4. Can also play the point guard if needed. So at this point, we just went best available. We really have the roster set out. So this is the roster after the offseason. Mike Conley has not started to regress yet, so that's going to be key for us making the playoffs again. Miles Bridges, we did give him a contract extension. 
he was a restricted free agent, so we are going to give him that contract, and everyone else we pretty much brought back, but our bench is looking nice, our starters are looking nice, we are going to make the playoffs for sure, unless injuries happen, which we can't really control that, but we should be able to make the playoffs. Still have not won a playoff series yet, which is kind of concerning, and we're still mediocre, so a long way to go, but we did hire a new coach. No All-Stars in this season, but at the trade deadline, we are currently out of the playoff race again under 500. Don't know what's wrong with this team. I mean, we're really good at every single position. So, I mean, at this point, you can't really blame chemistry, but we'll see what happens. So Ben Simmons wins Rookie of the Year. Oh, wait. Oh, hold, hold up. No, that's not Rookie of the Year. That's MVP Ben Simmons. Okay, with no jump shot. Okay. Um... There are the All-NBA teams. Vernon Carey making the All-NBA third team. Not bad at all. And he just all-around player. Kind of like Brandon Clark was in the last video. But checking out the standings. We did make the playoffs. We were the number two seed in the East. I did not expect this at all from this team. I thought we could get up to maybe four. But that is exceptionally well. And we're playing the Pacers who are a pretty good team. I would say Miles Bridges again led us in scoring. Had a pretty nice season himself. Everyone else doing a little bit of scoring. Very well rounded team as far as scoring goes. Nico improving a little bit. Team stats on offense, we were top 10. On defense, we were also top 10. So, here in the playoffs, Mike Conley is not injured this time. So, can we win? We are the higher seed. If we lose, I don't know what's wrong with this team. I mean, we just can't win at that point. We're up 2-1 though. Can we go up 3-1? 2-2. And we lose again. We've lost 3 straight. And we lose 4 straight. What an absolute choke job. Up 2-0. And it looks like they still have Drummond. Got a, a lot of little good pieces here. But Admiral Schofield I saw. Vernon Carey with a nice game. Our point guards absolutely choked though. In the finals, it is going to be the Magic and the Jazz. I don't know if the Jazz still have Kemba Walker, but if they win, that is going to be an insult right into Michael Jordan's face. And Kemba Walker gets finals MVP. That is just crazy. So as you guys saw, Kemba left the team and he won a finals, got finals MVP. It is our turn. We better come up next. With our first round pick this season, we are going to take a foreign player, Pavic, out of Slovenia. Seven footer. Looks like a really athletic defender. Kind of similar to Jackson Hayes, but he'll take some time to progress. So we are going to make a blockbuster trade right here to try to find our franchise point guard. I don't really believe in Nico being a starting caliber point guard in the league. Although he can be solid, I don't think he's our franchise point guard. So we're gonna trade for Kobe White, and I will explain why. The Hawks have three point guards, Trey Young, Kobe White, and Julian Newman. All three of those need minutes. So Trey Young is obviously their starter. Julian Newman is gonna be progressing. So Kobe White needs a starting role on some team, and we give them a small forward. So with that trade going through and the Hawks get a small forward auto porter, which definitely is an upgrade over what they have. They also get a first round pick in two seasons. So hopefully we're not bad by then. And we get Kobe White. I really like Kobe White. I think he's definitely a franchise point guard type of point guard. So we'll see what happens with him. And that is kind of a big risk, but not too much because Kobe White is still very young. So we'll send Dallin Coleman to the G League and we're going to keep the same system, same coach. So here at the trade deadline, checking out how we're doing. We are currently the three seed in the East. So the team is looking like it's gelling really nicely with Nico off the bench and Kobe White starting. So we'll check out the stats at the end of the season. So Giannis is going to win his 200th MVP of this season video and Jalen LeCue most improved, Brett Brown coach of the year, Ben Simmons again on the All-NBA first team, Vernon Carey All-NBA second team falling out, 
He's just an all-around player, and looks like no one else on a team, no defensive team. Actually, Jackson Hayes, for the first time in his career, all defensive second team. He is a monster inside. But checking out the standings, we did make the playoffs again. This time as the four seed, we fell off just a little bit. But we didn't really have injuries, so we can't blame it on that. We're playing the Magic. They have RJ Hampton. RJ Hampton versus Kobe White. That is going to be insane. Malik Monk with a really nice scoring season and really nice percentages. Miles Bridges, really good again with the percentages. Kobe White, that is the type of season I want to see and shot super well from the three-point line. But checking out the team stats on offense, number two offense in the league, defensively top 10. Can we finally win a playoff series with this team? We are the low, we are the higher seed in this case, but it's definitely a close matchup. We are down two to one. Can we tie it up? We are down three to one now. Oh God, okay. We're gonna have to fight back. Down three to one. Are we gonna win at home? And we do. Can we force a game seven though? That would be huge. We are on the road though in Orlando. Game seven. And we are gonna force a game seven here. Game seven time. Who's gonna show up? Our point guards have not shown up in these playoffs. But it looks like we are down. So I might have to hop in here. So there was really nothing I could do here. I mean, I tried to bring them back, but nice and one right there from Kobe White. But yeah, it was really impossible. They just clamped us up. This team is really good defensively. So there's not much I could have done. And I, I, don't, I can't believe that all these times we've made the playoffs, we can't even win one playoff series. Like we're gonna go one more year for this part. And if we don't win a playoff series, I don't know what to say. Like this team is insanely good insanely young a lot of potential but i mean we at, at some point we gotta prove it mike conley open for three and that's cash mike conley has one year left on his deal so we'll see what happens with that so in this game malik monk had 22 points kobe white had seven assists four steals jackson hayes pretty nice all-around game but he did foul out so Taking out the Magic, RJ Hampton had a pretty good game. So yet again, the Sixers are going to be in the finals. I don't know what amount of times that is, but they've been in the finals at least four times. And they're going to win another championship. So draft lottery time, and we do have our first round pick. It's not going to be that high though. Next season though, we don't have our first round pick. It is top five protected though. With our first round pick, we're going to select Wendell Bolton, a shooting guard out of Duke. 6'4", looks like a really, really, really good shooter. So, if he can develop into something, then we can play him. Here is the roster. We've got an 88 overall as our best player. 87, 87, 87, 8. This team is so deep all across the board. We've got so many 80 overall players, like... I don't get how, I mean, we don't have a single 90 on the team, but this should be good enough to win at least one playoff series. That's all I'm hoping for right now with this still young team, but I'm going to send Bolton to the G League. Same coach, same system. Here at the trade deadline, checking out how we're doing. I mean, we are definitely regressed from last season. But we are in the playoff race, so that is good. We are at exactly 500. Not the best, still mediocre. So Ben Simmons is going to win his fifth rookie of the year in a row. What a guy. Okay, I, I'll, I'll stop trolling Sixers fans, but Ben Simmons is a really good player. Uh, hopefully he can get a jump shot sometime. And then I think he can win MVP. But up until then, I don't think he's going to be able to win MVP. We did make the playoffs again, and we are the seventh seed, so, I mean, we did regress, but hopefully we can take down the Nets. I mean, they're not that great of a team, and taking out the stats, Kobe White led us in scoring, also in assists, everyone else doing okay, and checking out the team stats on offense, we were top 10 again on defense, top 10 again. So we are in a game seven right now against the Nets. I'm gonna simcast this 
this is our chance right here to knock off the Nets game seven time. And it looks like we're gonna get blown out. Down by 28. Yeah, we lost this game. I don't, I do not know how to improve this team. Like we've got so many good players. We are a deep team. Well, I don't know. We just keep choking in the playoffs, it looks like. Malik Monk absolutely choked. One for 10 from the field. And everyone else, not great. This team's not even that good. I mean, D'Angelo Russell, James Wiseman, that's about it. So it is going to be a Knicks-Lakers Finals. This would be an absolutely insane Finals in real life. Two of the biggest markets in the NBA. And it looks like Game 7, Jaden McDaniels is the Finals MVP. Will the Hornets ever win a playoff series? Can Kobe White be the answer for Kemba's replacement? Watch part three to find out, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on the road to 300 subscribers.